I'm trying to seal it. I ran down into Heather's kitchen and no, she was there. I didn't take anything. We know what'll happen there. Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thank you all for being part of it. If you can, please smash the like button and watch the whole video. It helps the algorithm to get these videos out there for everybody to see. And subscribe. It's free and lots to see. Today, we're doing the passenger side inner well in the front. I'm going to show you how to properly remove the undercoating where it isn't difficult. It's actually very easy if you use the right things, okay? Also, uh... I'm going to go ahead and coat it, seal it. I'm going to use metal Bondo. For some of you who've never tried it, it actually works really nice. Uh, the next video, we're going to paint and put the guide rails all back together. If you want to see that, it'll probably be an in-between video. Also, something pretty big coming up. Uh, for those of you that know Misty from the V-Dub store, uh, actually a great person to deal with in all sincerity, she tied together something pretty, pretty big, and I mean big, and uh, <laughs> that's coming up. It'll be a two-part series uh, pretty soon, probably within the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. She shocked me that she was trying to be helpful, and that she did. So let me show you a couple of things, and we're going to get romping. So a few weeks back, we went ahead and we did the driver's side inner well and got that finished. Now it's time for the other side. And I try not to bore you with stuff like this. It's all part of the mild restore. If you noticed, I said mild. I didn't pull the body. However, I try to keep you in tune with what I'm doing. So I will speed up certain parts of the film first. We're going to remove the undercoating with the heat gun. As you can watch, some of you have missed it, that this is the way to take the undercoat off. At least in my book, it works very well. So, And something I'm going to do with the guide rails uh, on an in-between video if you just want to see it. So let's go. All right, let's get the bonnet off. Get it out of the way. Still got to use that welder. Got all my crap laying here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pull the undercoat got this. I wonder where that went. And uh, I'm going to show you something if you want to watch. It's not that great. Now, I don't know how much you want to see of some of these things, but I pulled the guide rails back off. You can see the holes there and up across there. But of course, I got to wire wheel and sand all that, clean it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rebend that side and drill the holes and then paint the guide rail separately. I'll have them hanging up and then of course paint all of this. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and reattach them with stainless steel rivets. Don't use anything else unless you're going to weld or you can use uh, silicon, but I'm going to do that. I'll make that more of a shorter video, just quick so you can watch. I won't bore you and drag it out long. Uh, so I'll do that after this video. And I'm going to kind of clean this up in here and bear with me, okay? This is not a show car. It's going to look nice when it's done, but I'm putting all kind of carpeting in here and everything. So I'm just going to clean this up real nice, touch up some of the rust and spray it with the gloss almond where need be. I'm not tearing the fuse panel out and ripping everything out to paint all this in here. It's unnecessary as a daily driver. So and it's gonna be all carpeted anyhow. So before any of you become a booger head, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's remove the undercoat. So I'll be moving the camera around here. What you wanna do is get a heat gun. You can get on Amazon, you get Amazon cheap. Let me try that again. You can get these on Amazon cheap or possibly Harbor Freight. Just be careful, these get really, really hot. I throw mine up to 1200 degrees. Yeah, pretty high. And you're going to want a scraper. This is going to come apart pretty quick. You'll see what I do here. Got my trusty Vever chair. I love this thing. This is nice. So, okay, I'm going to bring you up close and let's get this done. Okay, first I got to get these out of the way. Okay, for the headlights. 
And we have a ground wire, got that out. These are, they still seem a little flexible. Hmm, let me get a screwdriver. I like to keep the original ones if possible. So I'm gonna try to push this through. And then what I'll do is clean it up real good, soften it. This one's still in good shape. And our turn signals. Okay, pull the dry rotted part off first since it's cracked there. There we go. There we go. Let's pull this through one at a time. Okay. We're also going to send a tap in here and clean these threads up. You can get a tap set at Harbor Freight cheap if need be. We're going to go right up to this line because I still have to weld in here. I think there's only one on this side for the nuts, for the inserts, for the bolt to go through for the fenders. Okay, here we go. I got to pull this off. That was from the old apron, but I can do that a little later. Now, wasn't joking. It's 1200 degrees. I put a little piece of board down here so I can catch some of that. Don't touch this end of the heat gun, but I guess you know that. But we're going to heat it a little bit because if you try using a wire wheel or some type of sandpaper, right, you're just going to gum it all up immediately. Now watch, if you have your gas tank in your car in a heat gun, that doesn't mix. So be careful with that. Look at that. See that? It literally, it just peels right off. And this undercoat has been on here a long time. I'll speed the film up in a second. I'm just showing you why I can talk. But it literally, it works great. It really does. Oh, let it heat a little more. Okay. And boom. I just am amazed with this. And I know other people have done this, but if you didn't catch it on the other side of the car, you know, it makes a huge difference. So in about a half minute here, I'm going to speed this up. And one thing you're going to want to do is maybe invest in a heat gun. They come in handy for a lot of things, honestly. But they're not like using a hairdryer. These get really hot. And we're going to go and use our tap to clean the threads up for the bumper bolts because... You don't want nothing bad happening, crossing the bolt, or there's crud inside of there. So, remember, we pulled this car from a junkyard. So, and that's where we got the Gia from, is a junkyard. So, we're saving them one at a time. But, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to speed the film up. And one thing I'm going to use, so you know already, is Metal Bondo right across that seam where it was welded to seal it off because I put a light behind here and you can see that, you know, there's a little bit of peekaboo holes, not holes, but you know, where the welds were. So we want to seal that and make sure. So sit tight. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up with some really cool music and get this all off of there. So hang tight. I removed, as you can see, there was the old apron. 
I really wish that guy didn't tear this apron off of there. He was trying to take it back to like his 66 and back or whatever, but that's a shame. But look what we have. We have a hole. Hole. Yeek. Real hole. Now, what I'm going to do, like I said, I won't bore you on film with certain things. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repair those holes. All right. And all around here, I'm going to spray Ospho, phosphoric acid, and I'm going to sand this down. As soon as I get to that point, I'll come back and show you, which will take a few seconds because the editing of film, but I'll show you what I did there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll rust bullet that. I got to make sure I got rust bullet left. If not, I will use rust oleum, you know, at this point. But I'll go ahead and do all this and I will be right back. All right. So what I've done is I've grinded down this patch. This was put on by a previous owner, so to speak. Uh, so when I shine the light from the inside of the car, I could see a little bit of light shining through here and there. And I'm not going to lay a whole new weld across that there's no reason to. Uh, the weld is good. So I'm going to go ahead and put metal Bondo on there now. And remember, I never claim to be a body man. I never claim to be anything. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go ahead and put some metal Bondo on. I'll show you how smooth it goes on. And it's strong. So I do like it. I'll show you the can too. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, so what I have here, instead of the fiberglass uh, Bondo, this is metal reinforced filler. I'll show you close up. And that's what it looks like there. If anybody wants to try this, I'm not telling you to. It just means it's what I'm doing for right now. So this stuff is three to five minutes working time. That's not very long. And you put uh, like a three inch circle, half inch thick, and 35 drops of hardener, which is a liquid. Here I come. Oh, I got my metal Bondo fixed up. And like I said, I'm sure you, some of you body men out there will go, no, don't use that. But use what you prefer. You know, this stuff does set up quick, so don't play around. That's why I had that camera actually ready so I could get it on and get it done before it hardened up. And I spread it too far down there, so it's okay. It can sand off, not a big deal. Wow, it is hardening up quick. And you can't really tell your mix because a lot of the hardeners are blue or orange. And then you can simply tell, see how nice that spreads on? It's like using Rage. I like Rage too. Uh, the... The hardener on this is clear, so it isn't like you're looking for a color and go, oh, that's mixed in good enough. You you can't do that with this, unfortunately. So, okay. Alrighty. So, I'm only going to have to use one coat, ah. and I'll probably use Rage after that if I need to. But we're putting rust bullet over it, so either way, it's gonna uh, it's gonna come out pretty nice. But I wanted to fill that seam in, so okay, alrighty. I let the metal bondo set up, and it does dry really fast. Although this is the next day, I had stuff I had to do. I had to stop filming, and it's sixty one degrees today out. So I got the garage door open. Look at this, sixty one degrees in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it's December 2nd or 3rd. I'm not sure what the date is. There's the Gia all snuggled up, waiting to get in here next. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and sand this with 80 grit and see what it looks like. All righty. We're going to go ahead. I threw some 80 grit on here. The metal bond, though, is a little bit tougher. So make sure you wear a mask, please. I'll speed the film up in a moment with some music.
that came out nice. Covered that seam up. Here, let me get my mask off. Honestly, I like the Metal Bonda. I'm sure a few of you body gurus are going to say don't use it, but I like it. It's a little, uh, I need to get that edge a little bit better there. It's a little harder to use than regular Bonda, although I prefer Rage for a better finish and easier sanding, but this was to do a seam. So it covered the seam up, and that's what I needed it to do. And then we're going to go ahead. I'll speed the film up again. I'm going to sand this down, which won't take long, and get that all cleaned up. And we're going to go ahead and get some protection over this. Okay. I don't think I have to go down to 60 grit, but I'm going to put 80 on here and see what it does. If not, then we'll get down to 60. this dust get down first all right i'm going to finish this up I, i'm trying to split this film up so you don't get overly bored so let me finish sanding this i'll be right back now if you remember in my one episode where i did the left front inner well okay and i had had a hard time getting open the rust bullet if you get it around the lid you're not getting the lid off that stuff is wicked nasty you don't want to let go of metal so I poured it in a glass jar of what I had left, and I put plastic wrap on it and everything, and take a look. It left a film at the top because I didn't have it completely airtight. So I'm going to clean this upper layer up and then mix it, and we'll put the rust bullet on. So give me one second here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wipe this off with Metal Blast. I'll show you right here. and it cleans everything off before you put the uh, rust bullet on. So let's wipe this. <coughs> wow, I should probably wear a mask with that just as a side note because, <coughs> wow, it smells like acid. Oh, wow, this is nasty but it's probably getting all the poo-poo off. I'm gonna, <coughs> wow. <coughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. I know who's Pete. Okay, that is clean. Okie dokie. Hit it with a little air. Okay, this rust bullet is brutal. Oh crap, I forgot something. I'm gonna put this down because you can't even get it off the floor. People say, well, it's stay on the car. Yeah, I couldn't get the lid off the can. Okay, uh, this here, the apron covers this. When the new apron goes over, it covers this. So I'm not worried about that being perfect. So let's start. Brushing on the rust bullet. Oh crap. I'm not on my game today. You want to wind some bolts in here, a couple threads. And then uh, once you're done, you take them out, wire wheel them. Because you don't want to clog them threads up with uh, rust bullet because you're not going to get it out. I mean, you can get it with a tap. So don't be a wise guy. Okay. I mean, this stuff, I, 
And no, I don't get paid by Rust Bullet. They had given me uh, some to try. And I must admit, I already knew it worked, but I thought if you're going to give it to me to try, yeah, outstanding. So it, uh, like I said, my buddy, I'll have to get some pictures of the frame on my buddy's truck because he did that rust bullet years ago and I'm not putting him down, but he does not take care of his truck. It's just a work truck. And that frame still looks like this for except dirty. So it did hold out. He wire wheeled, cleaned it up. Now I'm not going to go clear up because I got to weld in some new lugs. See how I make words up? Lugs. So don't try looking them up and punch in lugs. I don't know what they're called. Fender knotted threaded stuff. I'm going to talk just for a few minutes before I speed the film up because I promised something and I forgot. And Heather was going to do a video on how to clean up rusty chrome. Now, obviously, it's not going to be like show quality, but it's gone. She can get it pretty nice. She's done that for me before. She has a couple different techniques she uses. So that'll be up in about a week because I definitely want to, I promised a few people and then somebody did leave it in the comments on Heather's channel, which she's revamping her channel and starting something new. So I think some of you may like it. She'll still do her crafts and stuff, just not on film. She gonna start some new adventure on YouTube, -y. but uh, that'll be up in about a week though. If you got some rusty chrome, you know what she'll do to it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, okay, let me speed the film up now. Hold on to your butt here. dab a little bit here. I must have missed before. Once I wipe this off, it'll look like this. It's just so dusty from me sanding and doing stuff. But I'm going to bring you up in a minute here and show you a few things. And then I'll do the second coat off film. There's, Like I said, there's no point in you watching me do Two coats, I get the hiccups, yay. Okay. All right, let me show you something here. All right, that is two coats. And see, I didn't bother, I don't know. Wow, HD camera's kind of stinking away because I'm looking through the lens and it don't look that bad as it does on camera. But anyhow, I didn't mind doing there because the apron goes over twist the bolts back a hair. You see what I did? That way the bolts don't adhere to it with the rust bullet. So uh, I didn't bother doing rage or a glaze filler because this is an inner well. You know, I don't think anybody's going to get down on their knees and look in here or judge it at the Grand Concourse or whatever they call it. So I just don't want to waste. I still have, it's about up to there. So I get enough rust bullet to finish the uh, rear inner wells. So that's where the rust. I wipe it off real good. I ran down the house. I don't know if this would be better to use. Let me see if that would. I'm trying to seal it. I ran down into Heather's kitchen and no, she was there. I didn't take anything. We know what'll happen there. I'm trying to seal it because these lids don't seal very good. So 
I'm going to do this like that. This is that cling wrap stuff. I don't, whatever I found. And then I tighten it up. Whoop. And if you tighten too far, it loosens back up. That should be good. I think I sealed it pretty nicely. That's how you want to do it. I hope it's. Yeah, it should be good. I hope. Okay. But in all honesty, I love Rust Bullet. And no, they're not paying me. It's not a commercial. And if I need more, I'm going to reach out to them. And if they say, no, we already gave you some, I won't even be mad. I'm going to buy some for the Carmen Gia when I start on it. But this come out like glass. Like I said, <laughs> don't get it on the, the lip of the can. Because once you put the lid on, you're not getting it back off. So that tells you something about Rust Bullet. Once it goes on metal... You're not removing it, maybe with a, you know, 60 or 36 grip paper and hammering away at it for five hours. But, okay, that's good there. Let's go over a couple things, and I'm going to let you go, but you need to know what's coming up. Now, as I told you, some of the body work uh, ones are going to get a little boring, so I try to speed stuff up, make it go quick, all right? Uh, you're going to see something amazing about in a week and a half, give or take. Because something, as I said in my last video at the beginning, is be, is coming here shipped freight. And between Misty, the V-Dub store, and Empy, they sponsored me for something really, really big. And I'm excited. I'm excited to show it. And uh, it's, it's a nice item. So thanks again for being here. I appreciate all of you. Please subscribe. And if you did make it this far, thank you. Please smash the like. And we'll see you soon.